Yo, what's going on, 67? Lot of squad today. We're here doing a ranked 1v1. I'm playing Bastet because I was just scrolling through the gods and I was like, what god have I not played in a really long time? And I feel like I haven't played Bastet since her rework, which I believe was. Four or five months ago, maybe, maybe even longer than that. Shit, I don't know actually. I actually don't remember when her rework was, but it was a long time ago. Uh, you know, Warriors blessing transcendence against Agni. I think I'm gonna want beads, but I think. Maybe beads can wait until level 12. But I don't know. My 1 definitely does a lot more damage than my 3. My 3 is just for poke. I'm going to be maxing my 2 and then my 1 and then my 3 last. I have a lot to learn when it comes to uh, Bastet because... I really don't know any kind of combos with her. Everything I know about the god is just from what I've seen other people do pretty much. Like, this really isn't a god that I play, I was going to say often, but honestly, ever. I really just don't play this god. It's not because I think she's bad or anything, or, you know, look at a weird... Ooh, did my wave. Some kind of weird thing, I just... You know, I pick gods in duel who I feel like playing, and I'm, I never log on and I'm like, you know what? Bastet feels fun today. I don't know why, but today it happens. He already dashed, by the way. I saw his dash. All right, dash down, boys. I'm not letting you near that wave. You you know better than that. Rock my warrior's blessing. Got a lot of pots. I uh, kind of figured that Bastet was really mana heavy because she used to be. Doesn't seem like she is right now. Damn. Oh, my cat doesn't proc warrior's blessing. What? Really? Hmm, I kind of wanted to fight that. Medic. Hmm. Nice. Hmm. kind of wanted to fight that, but... The tower started doing a little bit too much. And my cats, for whatever reason, for like a second, I thought my cats would go through the tower. I don't know why. But I did for a second, and then they hit the tower and did no damage, and my whole kill opportunity was ruined. My bad. Come on, minions. Dude, I hate when minions don't group up. How do you like that? Please tell me that kills. Ow. Fuck me, he does a lot of damage. My goodness. My godness. How do you like that? I'm dead. Damn, it really, really sucks that your three doesn't proc Warrior's Blessing. It's still your ability, you know? Weird. They'll never know what hit him. So does that do? Oh my god. Does this do damage when you use it? Yeah, 
It says whenever whenever they're summoned, these guardians will follow Bastet's order, assisting her in any ability she cast, and dealing a percent of Bastet's damage. But they don't say they do damage when they're summoned, but when I summoned it just now, it looked like they did a little cone attack in front of you. Huh. Next time I ult, I'm gonna have to be really close to him. I'm gonna have to figure out if uh, that does damage or not. Cause it's a big deal if it does. You know, hitting my two on him is definitely not worth it. Ow. Ow. gonna fight him but he ran nice. I'll take it though am I ahead I mean literally yes but arguably no because like while yes my gold lead does suggest I'm ahead of him it's inconsequential at best doesn't mean anything you know my my entire gold lead is sat in my fucking potion tab right now, you know? Dash. Wanted to make sure I got the hit on him there for the warrior's blessing. I've got my it's not up yet. Oh, I caught his dash. That was nice. That was really nice. He says while backpedaling and missing every auto attack. But I did catch his dash. You can't take that from me. I got it. And it was a good kill. And I'll take it. Alright, and I almost have my Warriors Blessing stacked. And I have my Transcendence now. We're gonna go for that. I'm gonna get a Health Pot. You know what? Soul Eater would be pretty good here. Your middle tower is under attack. Hmm. Wonder if I should go Soul Eater. And finish for his blessing. How do you like that? Rude. That didn't even do damage to him. Dude. That didn't even do damage to him. Um, I think that was worth the trade. His two hit me for 250, and my two hit him for like 400. Definitely worth the trade. Alright. So, let's try to keep in mind how often he dashes. It's really, he dashes when he's not even threatened. Which is good for me, because that means I can abuse that later in the game to bait Don't the dash. How do you like that? I didn't want to jump back because I want to be able to clear this wave here. How do you like that? 
out. Damn. He has a lot of cooldown. I guess he does have 20% built. Versus my... 0%. Fair enough, fair enough. I wonder... I don't know what my relic should be. I'm thinking maybe Beads. I'm thinking maybe Blink. I'm thinking maybe Aegis. How do you like that? A lot of different possibilities for the alt here. Your middle tower is under attack. What do I want to get? How do you like that? I think. So here's my here's the reasoning for each one. Beads gets me out of his stun so he can't peel me away as fast. Aegis helps me obviously live through his damage. And Blink will let me engage on him after he's dashed. All of which seem incredibly important, I just don't know which one's best. He went horrific, which I think rules out. Um blink honestly damn we got him I'll take the trade I'll take the trade kill there um but I what relic would have been best there right Beads would have been okay. I have to go Genji's, by the way. Beads would have been okay. Aegis, I think, would have been the best in that scenario. But I really think it might just be Beads overall because of Horrific. I don't know. I really don't know if I made the right choice with the, with the Beads pickup, but... You know, sometimes you just gotta trust your gut, and my gut says Beads is better here. I have 30% cooldown, so I'm going to pick up the blue buff to have finally max cooldown. And when I have max cooldown, I should be able to have two full rotations in my ult. I'm not going to be able to kill him here, I don't think. Oh, never mind. I will. Awesome. Hold I didn't think I was going to be able to kill him because I was kind of being greedy with the uh, with the beads. Like, I was holding my beads. So I assumed he was just going to be able to get away. But he didn't. Surprisingly. If anyone knows, by the way, in the comments down below, if Bastet's alt... If Bastet's alt uses... Well, it doesn't use anything, but if it does, deals damage when you use it... Because I swear it does, and I'm just not close enough to rock the damage when when it happens. I really feel like it does. Okay, let's find out. It doesn't. That is absolutely 100% confirmed. It does not do damage when it's initially used. Really want to try to fight here. See, this is where Blink would be better. How 
or having any sort of like ability life seal like um That was scary. I think I'm gonna go Soul Eater. Please tell me Soul Eater doesn't give cooldown. Fuck, it does. I'm overcapped in cooldown now. This is 10, this is 20, this is 10, which is 40. I'll be capped at 50, which I don't like. It means I think I sell Jotuns. I think I sell Jotuns because then my build will have 30% CDR in it. And the 500 pot, when I'm full build, will have 10% cooldown in it. So I can maintain max cooldown, even without Jotuns. So I think I'll sell Jotuns for Soul Eater. And then start working on probably a beat stick because he has a little bit of life skill. Well, honestly, it's not really a little bit. It's it's a Bancroft's, but you know what I mean. Holy Alright. I do have beads right now if he pushes. Oh, please. Nice. Thank you, kitty cats. Yo. Good kill, good kill. Can I get Phoenix off that, actually? My web is pretty unscathed. Yeah, I can get Phoenix. Yo, he's just gonna surrender off that? Really? You know what? I'll take it. It was a good game. I don't know why why he surrendered. It was actually a really close game, and I think he could have won it. He just got demoralized after one death, one bad death after I ulted, I suppose. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.